All right, I'm on hole number 18. I'm in the Great Outdoors Tournament. I'm in my Scooby account. Getting one more good round of practice in, and I'm on track for a 27. I've shot the I've shot the consistent round and I picked one up so I need to hang on to that one but I still want to go for Albi here I got an Albi on this hole I got an Albi on this hole the other day in the opening round and then I got an Albi on it on the front nine so I've got good numbers for it and thanks to one of my viewers I went in and really analyzed the numbers on it and so I know the numbers on here are like albatross worthy so I'm going to take an extra mile Extra mile. And a sniper and a Titan. Okay, so I got the Titan, so I got an extra mile and a sniper. Those are the only two things I'm going to need. I'm going to go get another Albi right here. Okay, I'm going to do max overpower, max right hand side spin, max right hand curl. My goal is to get to 400 yards. Extra mile, Titan, max overpower, max right hand side spin, max right hand curl. Take the wind out. Mm, I think on this one you leave the wind in. Sorry about that. Yes, you do. Now, if they bump that up to a Titan, they could get over. But with a 3 5 wind, they're going to be short. They're going to clip the rough. But they could have, all they had to do was switch to a 3 power ball and they could have got over there. And they may have been, they may have been able to get over with a two power ball with a katana but this is why you save your titans that right there was the difference between having a titan and not having a titan okay, I'm gonna put this up here I'm gonna max everything okay, I'm going 3-8 so the winds pushing me 3-8 and I want to be going I'm going so that my I am facing right at that peninsula, or right at that little fairway area there. I'm putting max curl on it. Hit it two rings great to the inside. This is going to put me way down there, close to the f coast to that, but I should clear it. Nice clean 408. I was looking for 400, so that's great. Awesome. And my sniper range 1.0 per ring, 20% pull. I'm going to wedge my blue rings between the sand and the rough so that I start off in a very. I'm going to have to fine tune adjust it to get it to the hole, but I but I'm already in the in the spot, so I don't have to move it around and look for it. Last shot of the game. I got a serious. If I hit this perfect, I have a. I'm gonna have a serious shot at Albi. So it all boils down to hitting it perfect. My opponent could still get in the hole. That's gonna roll back down there. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Nice shot. All right. One per ring. Twenty percent wind adjustment. I'm getting in here. Put my blue rings off. Okay, I'm gonna dial it in. And I mean, I'm going right at it. Two, two. We have twenty percent wind adjustment. So that's four fours. That's two six. So we're at two point six somewhere in that neighborhood. A little over two and a half. Need to hit this perfect. Hit it great to the left. One ring. Ugh! I went one ring great to the left. Oh, look at that. That would have been so. Oh, oh, it breaks my heart. That would have been awesome to get back to back Albies on hole number nine, and I was that close. That was the difference between perfect and not perfect. That right there, I'll tell you right. That right there cost me the tournament. That shot right there. I mean, there was a lot of shots that I missed, but talking about hole number nine, that shot right there. If I could have picked that shot up and came in with a twenty-eight, I would have had a really serious shot at a win, but probably a guaranteed banner. 
but in the 27s. Now, I'm going to get caught up in a bunch of tiebreaker stuff, and I'm sure that somebody shot a 28 or better. We'll see. I think it's a top five. It's a draw. Still got one more round to play with the same club, so I don't want to waste any of my home ones. So I will forfeit. Give back to the community. Good luck in the tournament. All right, let's see where I ended up. I'm in third right now, but look at where the 28s are. They had a 10. I would have been first right there. I would have beat them as well, unless they had better than a 26 in their opener. I'm not sure why Playdemic feels that they needed to hide that stuff. We, I, I'm baffled because we could, in the real world, we could have access to that information. I'm not sure what advantage they think. I mean, it does help us out because we can play strategically. But you could play that same game in the real world because you'd know where everybody was at. So I'm not sure why they do it that way. I think it's stupid. That's just my opinion. <laughs> All right, so that was third, but I'm, that's not going to hold up. Not with the people that are down there. So I'm at the top of the 27s. I came in with a really good tiebreakers. So they weren't top-level tiebreakers, so there's probably some people down there that can beat me, but unless you came in really playing consistent, I'm thinking it'll end up being a top five, but no banner. All right, I'll let you know. That was hole number 18 of the Great Outdoors Tournament in the weekend round of the Rookie Division. Thanks for watching.